So recently, it has been pretty fucking hot. Might that have anything to do with the fact that we've been dumping greenhouse gases into the atmosphere unregulated for the past couple centuries? Maybe, but it's also a moderate inconvenience to be sweaty. So today, I'm gonna be showing you guys some outfits to look cute while we slowly and inevitably destroy our planet. <laughs> Okay, so here is our first outfit. It's super simple and something that I've actually worn a couple times in the past few weeks. Probably outfit repeated this a couple too many times, if we're being honest, but I live by myself right now, so regular social rules don't apply to me. Or at least that's what I tell myself when I eat nachos on the floor at 3 a.m. Um, my top is an old one from Abercrombie that I got on sale for like $7. My shorts are from Urban Outfitters. I paid like $50 for these, which is probably way too much to spend on a pair of shorts, but they're so freaking flowy. They also give me like a really nice A-line shape, so it like kind of looks like I have hips. And then for shoes, some people wear flip-flops all summer. This is a controversial opinion, but I fucking hate flip-flops. I hate that like slapping against the back of your foot and I honestly don't think they're that cute. So I got these ones. Oh God, can you see my underwear? So these shoes are like my replacement flip-flops. They just have like two straps and a super low heel. So they're honestly really easy to walk in and the ankle strap makes sure that like they actually stay secured to your foot like shoes should. By the way, I will preface this video with the fact that I don't feel like I have particularly good insight into like summertime hacks. As you will know if you have existed in a human body for a number of years, basically the goal here is just to wear as little fabric as possible while still covering all your ghibli bits, <laughs> your, your private parts, all of the no zones. But I will say if I do have one hashtag summer hack, it is to use nipple covers instead of wearing a bra. If you have small enough boobs that you don't feel like super unsupported without a bra, it's totally the way to go, especially because my normal bras have a decent amount of padding in them to like kind of make the chest region a little bit more voluminous, um, but that is also conducive to a hefty amount of under boob sweat. So like right now, I mean, I'm not gonna show you guys right now because I'm not trying to flash you. This isn't that type of channel yet, but I'll show you guys in a cutaway. I'm just wearing these little like sticky nipple covers that I finally bought because for a while there, I was just using duct tape. And trust me, that was an uncomfortable experience for me and my nipples. But so far these have worked pretty well, even like whilst I'm sweating my balls off and my boobs feel a little bit more like free and breezy, so that's good. Okay, for our second outfit, I am already incredibly sweaty and out of breath. For this outfit, I kept the same shorts, but I decided to wear this long sleeve top just so this entire video wasn't me in like a shit ton of tank tops because that's kind of boring. So if you guys are looking for an option that's not a tank top, if you're worried about like distracting those boys with your shoulders at school, which is the most fucking ridiculous, this top is just a super lightweight and breathable top that I thrifted. I just tied it at the front. You guys know that I do this with like all of my long sleeve shirts. Obviously there's a lot of what would be cleavage exposed, but I really like the tie detail. I feel like it helps make button ups a lot less business casual and a lot more like summer trendy ho. And it also obviously helps you stay a little bit cooler and not lose your waist. Um, shorts, as I mentioned before, are the same. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these rope sandals that I wear in nearly every video. But today I did a little bit of a different tie pattern on them because I didn't really want that big tie in the front so I just loop them around in this really weird way so that they tie in the back and from the front it would look like more of a clean three strap design. Overall I honestly really like this outfit I kind of wish that I had saved it for a lookbook or something like that but I feel like it's very kind of like updated safari chic. All right here is another option if you wanted a little bit more coverage on the old legs if you can't be bothered to shave or if you just want to be like a little bit more conservative. I showed you guys these pants in my last video so I'm not going to talk about them too long but I freaking love these pants I can't get enough of them. Honestly they are a little bit more high coverage so maybe not the best option for like 100 degree days like we've had this past week but in terms of pants they are still really breathable and I know sometimes in the summer I get super bored of wearing the same shorts over and over and over again because I feel like that's the only thing that I can wear so some nice breathable pants are a good way to change it up okay I am like already sweating off my makeup so this is going great it's like a fucking greenhouse in here just like our atmosphere okay the hair is officially going up because I am officially way too sweaty to deal with the personal heater that is my hair. This outfit is a little bit more fancy, a little bit more shamelessly girly, but at least the good thing about this sweltering heat is that it's still pretty easy to look girly and cute because you can pretty much just throw on a mini skirt with any top and then you're good to go. Honestly, I really appreciate this skirt because it kind of has like a bodycon shape at the top, but at the end it flares out so like, you still get some wins going up there, if you know what I'm saying. And then my top is something I recently bought from Urban Outfitters. It was on sale and I think it was like $20 or something like that if it's still available. I will link it below. Wow, I'm sounding like such a basic fashion YouTuber now. It is a little bit more tight and constricting, but it's made out of this linen fabric, which overall is still pretty breathable. And then for shoes, I'm wearing the same damn shoes that I've been wearing in all of these outfits. And it's these two strap heels from Steve Madden. 
Hey guys, and welcome to Brandy Melville. This is probably the most Brandy Ho outfit I've ever put on, but none of it is actually from Brandy Melville. This top is actually a DIY, and I'll put the little card above. I made a whole tutorial about it. But basically, if you're into cropping thrift store t-shirts like I am, obviously, you can make your own tube top out of that bottom piece of scrap fabric that you cut off. But obviously, if you don't want to do that, this is actually a really popular style that they sell at Brandy or like Forever 21 or Urban Outfitters. Again, it's just some basic denim shorts and then my Converse to keep everything casual, still keeping that black and white, still keep that black, still keep that blue, is what it's called actually. Um, still keeping that red, white, and blue theme. Okay, and this is the last option that I wanted to show you guys. Honestly, if worse comes to worse and you are dying in the heat, all you wanna wear is a tiny little dress. This is one of those dresses that's like borderline non-existent. There's really not a lot of fabric going on, but it does cover the essentials, so. I bought this one from American Eagle last year, but I feel like especially this summer, more than ever, people are really into their summer dresses. So literally any store that you look at, they'll have a cute little number like this one. A pro tip for summer dresses that took me way too long to figure out is I was wondering like why these dresses look so much better on bloggers and Instagram girls. They just look like really clean and effortless. And I think a big factor in that, other than that it's their job to professionally like pose and look really good in these dresses, is the fact that they're not wearing a bra or they're just wearing nipple covers like I am right now. TMI, maybe, but you know, I've just been wearing the same nipple covers this entire video. Why am I saying these things? Um, I used to always try to wear a strapless bra or like convince myself that if I wore nude bra straps nobody would really notice, but it does make the dress look a lot less clean. So finding the right undergarments or even just a bralette that lines up with the straps of the dress in a really flattering way is a really important factor in making your summer dresses actually look good. So yeah, that is what I have going on here. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these infuriatingly like slappy shoes from my last lookbook. They're from Forever 21, but I like that the pearl detail adds a little something to the outfit and also I'm just trying to wear shoes that aren't those nude sandals again because I've been wearing them like this entire video. Okay, I suppose I'll bring it in for my outro here. I am so sorry that I am incredibly sweaty at this point and I may have mild heat exhaustion, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys are surviving this heat wave because it is gnarly in LA, man. I do not have AC in this apartment and it has not been cute. Move into a top floor apartment without AC in the summer in LA, Ashley said my brain like six months ago when I signed this lease. I'm gonna go and cover my body in frozen strawberries in an attempt to cool down. And uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.